Hey everyone, let's get started with the free assets for two weeks. I guess it's not free for the month anymore. And for those who don't know that free assets are going to drop every two weeks. So that's why you'll only see three free assets right now. And then on November 19th, we're going to have the next batch. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So just head over to fab.com, scroll down a bit. They finally made a little section for the limited time free. Go ahead and click on that and you'll see three beautiful assets that you can claim right now. And in order to claim it, you just click on it and then click add to my library. You have to add it to your library. So let's start off with the military airport. And I've already showcased this on my channel before, but if you haven't seen it, no worries, it's now free. This was on a Humble Bundle pretty recently, and there's quite a quite a bit of a lush environment looking really nice. Pretty nice looking for a battle royale. Some garage storage containers, outdoor lighting, a helicopter pad in the back right here. And yeah, just a beautiful map overall to uh, create some sort of battle royale shooting game, whichever one you're really interested. Now let's look at the forest animals pack. So when you open the forest animals pack, each animal type has a different map. So the first one is the bears. So if I go ahead and I'll just simulate this, you'll see some bear attacks, bear standing, bear dying, a bunch of, a bunch of stuff, a few humanoid looking stuff when they're standing up and swiping. And now let's take a look at the boars. So there's quite a few boar animations, boar running, boar walking, boar idle, and so on. And this is the deer and stag. Uh, pretty good quality assets. You can see the stag has antlers. The deer does not. Quite a few. Oh, there's actually quite a few animations for this one. And yeah, if you're making some sort of wildlife game, feel free to carve up these deers to get some resources for your cooking game if you're making something like Rust or some open world survival. And I'm really liking how semi-realistic these look. They look pretty good. And this is the fox. This is the rabbit. I think the rabbit's a little big in my opinion. Very chonky, but it's totally fine. And last up is the wolf. As you can see with its beautiful pearly chatterbox, amazing. And yeah, that pretty much covers it for the forest animals pack. And now let's get into the hyper outline and symbol system V2. This is by Games by Hyper. If you don't know who they are, they create quite a lot of assets. They even have a huge multiplayer survival template. Um, looks pretty interesting. I just haven't really tried the demo yet. Maybe I'll do that in another video. They do have a demo you can download and actually try out. But it has been over five to seven years worth of work. And it comes with just a ton and ton of systems that it's replicated and ready to work as an online multiplayer game. So let's go over the outliner. I'll hit play. Okay, just turn the audio on. There's a lot of uh, about section. Nice. A teleport. Teleport to the end of the map. Now we'll go through it. We'll go through it. So, okay, there's a discord. If I walk on that, it'll open it up. User project settings. Oh, it tells us to add the AC outliner. Oh, that's pretty cool. It has a bunch of images telling us exactly how to do it with their own nodes. And let's go ahead and see the example. So there's a custom depth value with their logo. That looks really sick. Stencil value number three, outlining this character. And when I left click on them, you'll see the outline actually take effect. Let's try to, okay, nice. So when I left click on these, the outline will actually go away. And when I click on it again, the outline will come back. Okay, that's pretty cool. So what's this? Oh, okay, so I'll walk near these to turn it on. If I'm near them, then it'll toggle the outline on like so. That's pretty cool. Toggle on action event. So left mouse button, we'll hit it with the trace. Oh, that's cool. So now this guy has a quest, this one too, and this one too. And there's a bunch of different types of symbols. Nice. The exclamation mark and the question mark definitely giving me some wow vibes or will it work up vibes. Toggle scene depth. All right, let's see what this does. Okay, I think my texture was just loading. Yep, so we can see the outline through stuff. This is kind of giving me like left for dead zombies when you can See your teammates getting attacked by the special zombies. Works on sprites. Oh, that's pretty cool. I haven't really many I haven't really seen support for much 2D stuff in Unreal, other than very specific stuff like Paper ZD. And yeah, that pretty much covers the outline. Uh let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.